times pretty much stood still in Rowley, Alberta, a place where change is resisted more than embraced. The last really big change here was when the train stopped rolling through in the 90s, the final nail in a once bustling economy. This part of Alberta, is this maybe one of the most conservative spots in Canada, do you think? I would think it's pretty darn close to it. Well, just eight people call Rowley home these days, a place so small most locals have keys to the pub and are likely to lean a fair bit to the right politically. 80% of this riding voted for a conservative candidate in the last provincial election. What does it mean to be conservative? Aha, all we want to is for people to leave us the hell alone, let us do our own thing out here. You think that's uh, the way most Canadians feel? I think it is. Uh, and it just, conservatives do not want people button into their business. Well, public enemy number one these days, carbon taxes and the governments behind them. My personal opinion, I think it's a farce. Um, I don't think that anthropogenic climate change means anything other than a tax grab. But politics isn't fueled yeah. by beer around here. In a riding as big as Belgium, there's just too much driving for that. So in places like Veteran, population 207, it's coffee that stirs the pot of political debate. We know where we live in this part of the world, it's agriculture, oil and gas, small towns, communities. And we're in an area where ag and oil and gas work together. We are not Definitely. separate industries. The United Conservative Party candidate is the yeah. front runner here, and he has a simple pitch. Scrap the carbon tax, build more pipelines, and cut red tape. This is where we draw the line in the sand and we, we have a, a fight for a fair deal within Canada. It's what most people in this riding want to hear, drowning out the racist and homophobic ideas connected to some UCP candidates. I just want to be here and do my thing. I don't see skin color, I don't see sexual orientation, I don't care. I don't care about that stuff. An hour and a half south and east in Sedalia, another conservative contender is campaigning over coffee at the general store. Rick Strankman is the incumbent here, the latest in a long line of conservative MLAs. But Strankman believes conservative ideas work across Canada. Through these lenses and my lens, uh, yes, absolutely, for where I've traveled, uh, I, I see uh, many people who want to have less government involvement, less taxation, and uh, better effective use of, of those taxpayer dollars. So uh, I think everybody uh, just wants to uh, cohabitate, if you will, uh, without, uh, without frustration of government. At an all-candidates forum in nearby Consort, signs of that frustration with Ottawa are easy to see and hear. They don't know we exist. The world ends in Winnipeg. They, they don't give a damn about to a Western Canada at all. It's a conservative crowd to say the least. None of the candidates here support a carbon tax. All want more pipelines. If they don't get them, some are open to Alberta separation. The local NDP candidate is a no-show. It was all right of centre. There was no centre tonight. And, the cent and anything left of centre didn't show up because there would be no place for them, really. That says a lot, I think. Absolutely. They, they knew they wouldn't have a friendly audience. Back in Rowley, change still comes pretty slowly, for the most part. Election in Alberta right around the corner, election in Canada, pretty close. Is change coming? Hopefully. Uh, Alberta for sure, not so sure about Ottawa, but we'll keep our hope. A hope that political change in Edmonton and Ottawa will mean less government in these parts. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Rowley, Alberta.